Welcome YouTube, uh, my name is Fernando and today I'm going to show you a quick demo on this extension that I wrote uh, for VS Code. Um, the name of the extension is uh, Gutenberg and what it does is takes files and then it prints them to whatever output you want. Uh, for my case, I usually print uh, a bunch of markdown files and then print them into PDF. And what I use in the back end is called is something called Pandoc. And uh, this utility is pretty powerful, but a lot of people that don't want to learn all the commands and everything you need to learn in order to get everything working. So I wrote this as an extension and uh, well, actually I wrote it as a Python script first. And then I was thinking like, well, maybe why don't I use an extension in VS Code and then I write everything in VS Code since I use it for a lot of other stuff. Um, so let me give you a quick introduction of what it does. I just added this web view where you can select files. Before it was all kind of automated where it will print everything that was uh, your input extension. But now I made it a little bit more easier so what you have to if you don't want certain files you don't have to select them and then they won't be added in the print and so that's the gist of it it just takes a bunch of files and then I mean essentially it's like a front end for pandoc um, that's the that's the best way to put it um, so if you have any special pandoc commands that you want to run you can add them to the Panda command extra configuration. Uh, in this case, I had a user that wanted to do di uh, murmur diagrams. And I've never done this before, but I did a quick test with this filter and I added this filter to the Panda command extra and everything worked fine. Uh, so you can add other stuff to the command extra. And as long as it works with Pandoc, then it will be fine with this extension. So the extension, I uh, didn't want to activate it just if there was any, you know, markdown files or any other input files. So they're just commands. So the print command, the print book will, uh, for the print book, you actually have to have this structure. Uh, if it's If it's a book, uh, this would be your folder that you open in VS Code and then you will have chapters and inside those chapters will be your input files. The extension can change. You can change it in the configuration as you see down here below, as well as the output extension. Uh, and then you can have other folders. Um, actually, this might not be a good representation. Book images should be inside the book. So you'll have chapter one, chapter two, and then chapter and then images all in the same book, book directory. And then once you do the print book command, it will read all these files, uh, and then images could be on the ignore root path folders, so it is it gets ignore. And you can have other folders ignore too, like if you have notes or, or something else. So, the, so that's why a way to do chapters. And the other way to structure is to have just one root directory and then a bunch of files. And again, these images should be inside of books. Inside of book two. So that is the print book command. The print single, uh, it just prints one file and uh, you know, it has to be open. Once it's open, that file will get printed, whatever one you have open. And the latest addition here is to select prints, select files to print, which is the, the web view that you saw here in the beginning. Uh, so this is all built with HTML and uh, pretty cool. They just added web views uh, within the last 
two versions of Visual Studio Code, so I thought it was pretty cool to use web views on this one. The requirements, as I've said, you have to have Pandoc installed on your system. Um, so I tested with Windows because I have Windows at work and I also tested with Linux. This is what I have at home and everything worked fine. Um, and then I'm using uh, MyTex uh, or MyTech as people call this. Um, so before you use the extension, you want to make sure that all of this is working fine. The first time you run Pandoc, uh, if you want it, like if you print something, it caught up, it kind of downloads a bunch of latex packages and, uh, so it will take a little bit longer the first time and all the second times they will take really, really quick to print anything. Uh, these are all the config, all the configuration settings that you can uh, set off the back. Everything should work fine for Markdown. And I have everything set for Markdown and PDF. So you want something else other than those two extensions, then you have to overwrite them here. Um, if you have ignore files and root pad folders, you can also put them here. Um, and then the most important configuration is the pen document extra where you can add new flags depending on your requirements. So enough talk, let's get to it and let's show you what it does. So if I want to select the files, I just, uh, this checkboxes I'll remember based on this little file here that is kind of like little database of what you selected before. And let's say I don't want this one, then I can go ahead and print. And you'll see the, the, the book output here. And as you see here, everything is printed. Uh, you can also unselect or select all if you have a bunch of stuff that you want to do. So that's the new, that's the new, uh, there's a new command that I just added. So I think people will like that one. Um, but if you don't want to select stuff, like if you have tons of files, then I would recommend you follow the structure for print book command. So for print book command, uh, you won't read the sub same because it's a nested folder, but it will get ignore. And let me delete this. And so it will print book. You'll get a warning here saying, hey, you can't have nested folders. So you can ignore that. It won't read that file. And then you'll also get a warning saying that, hey, you can't have text files uh, if you want to print markdown. And you can add those files to the ignore files configuration. Uh, but I just left it like that for now. And then the, the last thing I want to show you here is how you can how you can print a single. And that will just get printed there on the same same folder. And so yeah, that's is that's the uh end of the demo and so if you want more information about Pandog just make sure you visit their website you can convert just about anything here and also check out my tech and if you have any questions just let me know uh, 
you have any issues, let me know on the repository. And I'll make sure to get to them as soon as I can. So thank you for watching.